Hi, my name is Steve Slatter. When I first came to Vermont back in 1976, the uh, cost of home heating oil had gone up and got a lot of people scared. Quite a number of people got involved in making wood stoves and heating with wood. People thought that if they spent the time in the house to feed the stove that they could save money and obviously they did save money and the trend has continued. There are many people who have only ever heated with wood. People need tools to work with their wood stove. Uh, you open the door, you put logs in, you need to move the hot coals around, move the logs around. When my wife and I were heating wood in the early days, she had a tool that looked like tweezers, that looked like something that a blacksmith had made. I had some materials in the shop that sort of lend themselves to that, and I decided, why not, take a stab at it. They're very handy, so I like to develop things myself that are my own personal solution to the needs. I recently had a chance to travel to Maine to visit a company called Mainwood Heat and what they do is build uh, masonry heaters, also known as Russian fireplaces. The firebox is actually located inside of it. So that got me to thinking about how can I build basically a hybrid unit, which takes full advantage of the much quicker radiant heat that the wood stove provides, and yet stores a significant amount of heat to distribute to the house through the 24-hour heat cycle. The basic build of the stove varies quite a bit because of all the different sizes and models that are possible with the elm. It's a very involved process. It involves drilling, tapping, bolting things together, painting, cutting fire bricks, turning the wood knobs and handles, lifting heavy things around. Building a stove can take a day, it can take two days, because I try to do things that people want. I don't just uh, make cookie cutter products where everyone is the same and if you don't like it, too bad. Uh, I try to adapt them and make them more or less uh, individualized for the customer and I think they appreciate that. <laughs>